I don't know if you've ever tried panna cotta. It's an extremely light Italian dessert which originated in the 19th century, but just happens to be the most fashionable dessert in the world today. So, into this saucepan we're putting equal quantities of milk and cream, 450 of each. Some white chocolate. And this vanilla pod, which as you saw, I cut all the way down its length so the seeds will be released more easily. Over to the stove. Melt the chocolate by gently heating the milk and cream. Stir it now and again to stop the mix catching on the base of the pan. I'll keep an eye on that, but while it's getting going, I'm going to soak four of these gelatin leaves in some cold water for four minutes. Now, gelatin leaves are available in good delis and some supermarkets, and for this dessert, they are much easier to work with than gelatin powder. Start softening the gelatin by first dropping it into some cold water. When it feels jelly-like, squeeze out the excess moisture, then add it to your hot milky mixture. Now it's back over to the stove again. Wait till small bubbles form in the pan, turn down the heat, then using a wooden spoon, gently squeeze the pod, releasing the seeds and that deliciously rich vanilla flavour. I'm going to leave the pot in a bit longer so it can go on infusing, but when it's done, don't throw it away. Dry it off, put it in a jar with some sugar, and you've got vanilla sugar right away. Allow 10 minutes or so for the vanilla to infuse, remove it, then pour your warm panna cotta mix into a large bowl to cool. Now stir it occasionally to stop the vanilla beans sinking to the bottom of the mix. When cool, pour the panna cotta into small moulds. Half cup capacity is perfect. Then simply place it in the fridge to set overnight. A really nice accompaniment for our panna cotta are biscotti. By all means, let's keep it Italian. In a large bowl, sift 500 grams of flour with one tablespoon of baking powder. Then add 500 grams of caster sugar, 200 grams each of unblanched almonds, raw cashews, sultanas, figs and orange zest. Then add five lightly beaten eggs and mix it together. Next, form the dough mixture into a log shape and put it into a hot oven until golden brown. When it's cool, slice the log into biscuits about five millimetres thick, and then make them extra crunchy by putting them back into a cool oven for another 10 minutes or so. Serve your panna cotta on a pureed plum sauce and add the biscotti. Mmm, bellissimo.